There are so many artists and potters all over Cumbria working away in their own studios, but it's not often that you get to see their work put all together. I've come here to Upfront Gallery to see an exhibition which is closing soon, which brought together potter's work from all over the county. There hasn't been an exhibition of Cumbrian ceramics up till this one uh, being started. And because there are so many, I think there are more than 54 potters in Cumbria. And so this is pretty representative across that range. 35 people, I think, represented in this exhibition. When Bob put together the first exhibition, he wanted to showcase a range of works produced in Cumbria. And he did the same again for this one last year. Uh, the invitation is open to everybody who's making ceramics in Cumbria. Uh, it's not selected, so we will take almost the work of almost anybody, as long as they're, uh, say, working in Cumbria. Uh, or, in one case, um, uh, been, has been in Cumbria for a long time, but now just moved slightly over the border to Lancashire. Some of Bob's own creations have also been displayed. Mostly thrown, uh, a little bit of extruded work, and now a little bit more sculptural work mainly working with a glaze called a chun glaze, which although it looks blue, uh, there's actually no blue colouring in it. The colour comes from the refraction within the glaze of light. It's high-fired stoneware. Um, it's what I've been doing for the last 53 uh, years. So I've um, been doing it for a long time. And what is it that you like about pottery making these things? I don't know, it's just uh, brilliant to be able to take a lump of clay and produce something that people enjoy, people can use. Um, yeah, it, it just has been a great, great life, if you like. Upfront Gallery, which is celebrating 20 years this year, is passionate about supporting local artists, as the director explained. I think it's very important to have a cultural identity for local people and local creators and artists. I think too much now the world's getting mixed up by having things exported, moved, travelled, toured to other places. If we're going to maintain a sense of local identity, we should promote that which is local first, surely. And then when it's really good, promote it elsewhere so people can see how good we are. And what do you think about the arts and what's going on in the arts in Cumbria? I think it's very exciting. I think we're still suffering by being marginalised, being on the edge of the territory of Arts Council England. And uh, we need to make more noise to show them how good we are up here and how we keep going, no matter what happens, against all kinds of financial cuts and other things. We'll just keep on making great art because there are great artists here. The gallery is currently inviting submissions from artists from all over the north for the Upfront Artist Open Exhibition, which will be opening in the next few weeks. Freya Finley, That's TV.